Okay, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Birthday. Thanks for those birthday wishes from the J Room. Uh, I'm not gonna say it. Happy birthday. Um, I'm thinking about doing a live stream on Saturday. But, yeah, Saturday. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Because with this new job thing, that's probably how I'm going to have to handle it. You know? Give or take. But anyway, birthday, 29. I don't consider, like, turning, you know, 30 old. Anyway. One Piece chapter. I'm going to do Maggie tomorrow. Tomorrow when I come home from work, I'll do those. I'll do Maggie, that Bleach chapter that made me go like... And I guess JoJo. But this, and if anyone saw the Hunter Hunter review, you know I'm changing it up. I'm not going to summarize. Not doing that anymore. But this chapter, wow. Um, this gets a 5 out of 5. I'm not joking around. I really give this a 5 out of 5. True shit. Majority of it was literally about Doflamingo fighting Luffy and Law. Now, in the beginning with, um, at that thing with Cor that was just a big, th a little, a little thing with, with, um, the toys being destroyed, she goes defeated, you know, that just. But let's get into my thoughts on the confrontation with Luffy, with Luffy, with with Law, and Doflamingo. Now, I'm gonna come out and say this. No hate, but if Bellamy joins the Straw Hats, no, no. And anyone who feels sympathy for Bellamy, don't, don't. Anyone who likes Bellamy, and this is going to be a slight Bellamy rant, you have to figure this out. I'm like, like, he, he supposedly he was confronting Doflamingo and he was going to kill him. And I'm like, I'm thinking about what he said earlier in this arc. I'm like, this, I, I'm sorry, but do people actually sympathize with him? Did Oda in this chapter actually say, oh, yeah, Bellamy feels sorry for him. Here's the reason why I don't feel so sorry for this Bellamy. Okay. I understand. I understand. Don't Flamingo. He's not 100% douchebag. I mean, he does exhibit qualities when it concerns his family, like how he treats the people in his army, in his family, in the Dolph Do Flamingo Don Quixote family. Like, for, you know, uh, uh, Nay, uh, Five, all those guys. But it was just proven in this chapter. Doflamingo doesn't give a fuck about Bellamy. He's like, Bellamy? Fuck you. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. I, I don't I don't feel sorry for Bellamy. He's a you know. You know, it's like it's like Who do you want your role model to be? Um Listen, don't take this the wrong way. How about Hitler? That's what it's like. That's what Bellamy basically is stating. That he wanted, his role model to him was this evil individual who did all these horrible things. And, he, you know, I'm just going to reference the chapter right now, just real quick, at something that, um, uh, Dolph Flamingo says. Uh, let me see. Let me just try, try to find it. Ah, the weak cannot even choose how they 
die. That speaks real fucking volumes if he's referencing, you know, looking at towards Bellamy. I'm sorry, but I give no fucks about Bellamy. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, I have no post comments. So, I, I don't feel sympathy for him. If he joins the Straw Hats, I'm going to look at it and say this. No. I would rather prefer Bolton join Straw Hats than Bellamy. Because Bellamy's weak. I'm sorry. He was weak-minded. I'm sorry, but no matter what the reason, I see no reason to follow somebody who is like that. So, fuck Bellamy. I'm sorry. Just, I, he got bloodied up, and he's like, kill me. I'm like, why didn't you just quit while you were ahead? Why didn't you, Bellamy, stop following Delphine? You, I, I can't imagine Bellamy actually thought 100% that, yeah, Delphine, I can, I can join, I, he's my, it's ridiculous. Okay, so that's that part, and, you know, it's just, uh, it's just Bellamy, I just can't. I don't feel no sympathy for this guy. This is oh, ridiculous. The other thing is, what was stated by Doflamingo? Which kind of interests me. I was like, interesting. He said Law could have been the third Coruscant. That brings up another good point with the jacket he's wearing, Law, that said Coruscant on it. I think I have to show you. I thought... I'm thinking to myself, that who was the second one? Also, like, obviously that references the hearts. Um, the heart place. You know. Because Joker's, because no, cause Doflamingo's known as Joker, and Corson was labeled the hearts. Heart. So that, that totally learned, like, whoa. Like, that, I, I would not, we're going to get it. We're going to get the flashback. And hopefully, and the reference was also to the 13 years ago, which we're probably going to get to, which was stated in the chapter. Uh, the, the Bellamy thing, that interests me, and that's why one of the reasons I'm giving 5 out of 5 is the Bellamy thing. This should show. And the law thing about Coruscant. And then, the other thing that the reason I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 is the what happened with the fight between... Um, Luffy with Law against Doflamingo. Yo. Luffy and Law, best combo. Now, I'm not going to say GOAT, greatest of all time, but I am going to say really good combo. And I like the ending how, uh, what did Luffy say? Or the Law said, he says, you are the worst. And he's like, hey, you're part of that generation too. And I was like, yo, that was funny as fuck. But, from what, and also, basically that combo, what happened was, Luffy did Red Hawk on Doflamingo, punched through, and Law did cut, um, Treble. Because Treble was there, too. And, I mean, that combo was pretty fucking beast. I was like, whoa. That's, that's hot. That's like shit. I was I was all I was like wow, amazing. I mean I think some people might might doubt that because you know Treble's a Logia, and how was Law able to cut him? You know, but overall five out of five. Now, listen, people who who obviously support Bellamy, I'm like listen, man. I understand how. Bellamy looks at Doflamingo. Why he looks him at the way he did. But after this chapter, you have to put Bellamy aside. It's He can't be considered 
I'm sorry. And, and Luffy was like saying that he's my friend and everything. And I understand that. But even, even to some extent, how uh, police car. You gotta realize that Bellamy is. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say the F word. F O D D E R. But I am gonna say this. I'm sorry. He's very fucking gullible. He's very fucking gullible. Like a lost puppy going to his master. Well, your master doesn't want you. In fact, your master might want to put you down. And my gripes with Bellamy is he was too gullible. Too gullible. In that regard, thinking, um, you know. And he just looked so pathetic in this chapter. And, you know, but I really did love the Coruscant thing. Build it up for the law flashback, hopefully, in the next com coming weeks. And the combo. That was, that, that was, that was bar none. That was amazing. I was just fabulous. So, One Piece seems to be doing pretty goddamn well, especially how crappy the other two were. Yes, the Bleach chapter was crappy. The yeah, good part of that Bleach chapter was good. Expect to, I mean, not talk about a lot about it, but... This was a good chapter One Piece. I really enjoyed it. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. This is how I'm going to do things for now on. You know, I got my sticky notes. <laughs> I put points on there. Um, and do I hate Bellamy? I hate the... F I don't hate him as a character. I just don't like the fact that... I wonder why Oda did that for him. Why did he make Bellamy like this? In the end, was this like? Is it a way to get Bellamy to join the Straw Hats? Hopefully not. Or is it a way to just show that sometimes, and just like just like what Don Flamingo said, the weak don't have the ability to choose how they die. I mean, I wonder what Odo was thinking about Bellamy. But that's all I got for you guys. Uh, hopefully the next week we get the law flashback. Oh man, I, I want to see Coruscant and this whole thing about him of of he was going to be the third Coruscant. I want to hear all that explanation. Hopefully we get it because if we don't get the law flashback. Nezma's gonna just drop one piece, from what I heard. From what I heard. So yeah, I'm Bonka Nine Twenty Two. I will see you guys later. Bell me. I have nothing to say about it. I just. <sighs> it's just uh, damn. He looks so pathetic, lying there, and bloodied and shit. It's sad. It's real sad. I'll see you guys later.